Hello everybody. <coughs> Today I'm going to show you uh, my uh, Nazi device whereby uh, the output you can see is running at three times the input frequency without powering on the Tesla coil at the current moment. It's not connected. The push gear is not connected. So so at this current moment the frequency is around 35-36 kilohertz which looks like a sine wave so the output is uh, uh, of the carbon coil is connected to a 10 nanofarad capacitor 2 kilohertz treated ceramic caps and uh, this is just a, a 5 watt uh, light bulb so let's connect the input uh, show the input side <coughs> of the RGBT I need to adjust this probe from 100 to 10 So as you can see, my input frequency is only 12 kilohertz from the HPT. <coughs> In other words, my toroid is being driven at 12 kilohertz, about 50% duty cycle, give or take. So that's all the various uh, decoupling circuit after the toroid uh, the mini toroid here is connected to the 2.2 nanofarad 2 kilovolts ceramic capacitor to the ground and this is the negative thermistor resistor which was used in a blood device and this is the the so called current sense or frequency sense toroid which is fed to the LM393N so uh, so <coughs> what I'm going to show you how can you explain the apron frequency the driver frequency for the droid is only running at 12 kilohertz but the output frequency <coughs> from the copper nicely uh, coil is operating at 3 times the frequency of the input of course, uh, my LM393 is fed to a two channel 74VC14, which is then connected to the uh, two version of TY by 3 uh, counter. One is using a PIC a microchip PLC, which I was shown in my YouTube video using CLC, which was a program as a TY by 3 which give me exactly 50% another one is the 4017 which is also uh, divided by 3 but it doesn't give me 50% duty cycle so uh, this is the first anomaly which I have uh, seen uh, whereby without turning on the Tesla coil I'm getting a higher frequency without as compared to the input so this is the most important uh, uh, capacitor here which I'll show you shortly the current consumption at this moment is uh, 0 0.5 amps 12.53 volts 
Okay, so I'll disconnect this. Disconnect this. And let's take a look at the output again. <coughs> See, the output totally don't make sense. It's a distorted waveform. <coughs> Once I connect the the capster to the twenty six or twenty eight turns uh, from the toroid, I get this. So to me, this is unusual because I'm already getting a accelerated uh, frequency. The output frequency of the captain has required is higher than the drive frequency which is only about 12 kilohertz so this is my first MLOM D <coughs> reported three times the input so to me this uh, command Z device is like a uh, electron isolator so th I think that is the only way you can get free energy whereby the output coil need to generate a higher frequency as compared to the input coil that's all for now